We are in section 2.3 for math, which is going to cover the transformations of reflections. So a reflection. Let's start with the definition. A reflection, or flip, is a transformation in which a figure is reflected in a line called the line of reflection. A reflection creates a mirror image of the original figure. So we have a few vocab words in here. So we're going to start with a reflection. A reflection is the flip. That's what produces the mirrored image. But then your reflection goes over a line of reflection. So that is your second vocab word, line of reflection. Now from the other day, you also learned that the new transformation is an image. So in this problem, we actually create a mirror image, which is like looking in the mirror. So let me draw just a basic graph and show you kind of what's happening. Here is an example of how this works. Now you need to make sure you write this down. Draw these pictures. The red figure in each of these pictures is flipped to give you the blue. So over here on the right side, this red triangle is flipped down to give you the blue. The flip is shown by the green. But the line of reflection is the most important thing students um, need to understand because that's what they mess up on. If your figure, if you notice, this figure right here flips over the vertical line, which happens to be the y-axis. So it flips over, which means the y-axis is your line of reflection. In this figure on the right, the line of reflection is your x-axis because your red figure flips down to give you the blue image. So keep in mind that this is your line of reflection. It can be a vertical line or a horizontal line, which would be your y-axis or your x-axis. Here's your key idea, and you need to write this down. This one covers reflections. In words, to reflect a figure in the x-axis, take the opposite of the y-coordinate. Now, if we look down at the bottom, here's what that means. If you are reflecting something in the x-axis, and you have x comma y, the new coordinate is going to be x comma negative y. You do the opposite of the axis you're talking about. So if I, for example, had a point that was 5 comma 2, then the reflected point would be 5 comma negative 2, which means it's going to flip down over the x-axis. The y, to reflect a figure in the y-axis, take the opposite of the x-coordinate. So if you have a reflection in the y-axis and we have a point x, y, the x-coordinate is going to change, negative x comma y. So that means if I had a point that was 2 comma 3, if I reflect it over the y-axis, it's going to become negative 2, comma 3. So I want you to sketch a rough graph that I'm going to draw now. So draw what I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a y-axis. I'm going to draw an x-axis. And I want you to label the x and the y. And I want you to go to 5 on every axis. Now you don't need a number all the way up to 5 because as long as we know a few numbers like 1, 2, 3, we know we're counting by 1. So this would be negative 1, negative 2, and so on. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Alright, so we're going to draw our original image in black. I'm going to put point A on negative 3, 1. I'm going to put B on negative 4, 4. And I'm going to put point C on negative 1, 1. And then I'm going to make a triangle. Now I'm also going to put the points above it. So I'm going to put negative 4, 4 negative 3, 1, and this one I'm going to squeeze in there is negative 1, 1. So get that drawn. If you need to pause the video to catch up, that's fine. Now I'm going to reflect it over the x-axis. So if I'm reflecting over the x, now some people are like, oh, the x goes this way, so I'm going to put it over here. No. It's like if you folded your paper. If I folded this paper along the x-axis, that means this shape is going to flip down 
over the x-axis. So I'm going to put my new points in red. So that means my point C is going to go here, and we're going to call that C prime. Point A will be here, and that's going to be A prime. And point B, now here's where you're like, okay, I don't know where to put this. Look at point B. It's negative 4, 4. Now, if you go back and look at your key idea you just wrote, it says your reflection in the x-axis changes the y-coordinate. So here's what I'm going to do. The x-coordinate stays the same, negative 4. The y-coordinate is going to change from 4 to negative 4. Therefore, I'm going to graph negative 4, negative 4. Which would be right there, and that's going to be b prime. So now I graph this. Oops, and that's a bad graph here, so I'm going to erase this line. And there's my reflected shape. So I have the image in red. Now I'm going to reflect it in green over the y-axis, which means my x values are going to change. So point A, point A is right here. That's negative 3, negative 3, 1. My x is going to change. I'm flipping it over the y, so my x is going to change. So instead of negative 3, it's going to become positive 3. So positive 3, 1. And since I already used A prime, I'm going to use A double prime. B is going to change to 4, 4. So that's going to be B double prime. And C is going to change to 1, 1. And that will also be double prime. And so there is my reflection, and that's a bad reflection, an image that's reflected over the y-axis. So in review... If you reflect over the x-axis, your shape goes either down or up. If you reflect over the y-axis, your shape goes across, left to right. We are going to do two examples. So here's example one, and you must write this down. The vertices of a triangle are the following three points. A is negative 1, 1. B is negative 1, 3. And C is 6, 3. Draw the figure and its reflection in the x-axis. What are the coordinates of this image? So you are going to need to graph this. You don't need graph paper, just make a rough graph on your notes. Now if you're putting this in your notes, you don't need to draw all this grid in here. You just need to draw a y-axis and an x-axis. Now notice, I notice my x value goes up to 6, so if I reflect this, I'll need 6 up and, and I need to go 6 over and then go some up and over if I'm reflecting over the x-axis. So the first thing you're going to do is just graph your three points. This should be incredibly easy. So I'm going to put this in red. And label your points. So negative 1, 1. Here's negative 1, 1. This is A. B is negative 1, 3. That means I go left 1, up 3. Then C is at 6, 3. So I go right 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 3. So my triangle would look like that. All right, now I need to reflect this over the x-axis. So right here, this x-axis is what I flip it over. So if you remember, if you flip it over the x-axis, all of the y values change. So you'd actually be graphing negative 1 negative 3, and negative 3 as my values of y. So those are going to change. So if I graph this, a is going to be negative 1, negative 1 here. So that's going to be a prime. b is going to become negative 1, negative 3. So that's going to be b prime. And c is going to flip to right here, 6, negative 3. So that's c prime. And there's my reflection. I think the number one thing you need to understand is when you have your points and you flip over the x, the y values change. If it's positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. Just the y values. It's the opposite of the axis that you're flipping. So we have one more problem. 
Now we have one more thing that we need to make sure we do, and that is what are the coordinates of this image? So you can just put them right next to your graph if you want, or if you want to put them over here on the side, you can. So A prime, as we set up here, we set them up here. All we did was change the Y values. So this becomes negative 1, negative 1. B prime becomes negative 1, negative 3. And C prime is 6, negative 3. So always make sure you label the coordinates if it asks. Now an example 2, if you want to write this down, you can. But I want you to at least pay attention. You don't need to write this problem down, but you can if you want. So we have the vertices of a quadrilateral are at P, negative 2, 5, Q, negative 1, negative 1, R, negative 4, 2, and S, negative 4, 4. Draw the reflection and its, I'm sorry, draw the figure and its reflection in the y-axis. All right, so let's first draw a graph. So I'm going to make sure I put my arrows at the end of my lines and I label my x and my y-axis. So the first point we're going to draw is P. I'm going to put this in red. Negative 2, so I left 2, up 5. And that's P. Q is left negative 1, down 1. So that's Q. R is negative 4, so left 4, up 2. And S is left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 4. So if I connect this, there's my quadrilateral. Now, in green, let's think about what's happening. I want to reflect this over the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. I flip it over that way. So that means all of my x values are going to change. So the negative 2 here will become positive 2. This negative 1 will become positive 1. This negative 4 becomes positive 4. This negative 4 becomes positive 4. So if I graph them, P would become positive 2, positive 5. So that'd be P prime. Q becomes positive 1, negative 1. So right 1 down, so Q prime. R becomes positive 4, 2. So that'd be R prime. And S becomes positive 4, 4. So that'd be S prime. So I connect these. And there's my reflection in the y-axis. It goes over the y-axis. 